Hello and welcome to OneChain Guide. I'm going to explain the Light Wallet for you, but bear in mind the wallet I am explaining is still in beta and the official wallet will be released soon. I don't know how the real wallet would look like, but I guess that it will be pretty similar, maybe some functions added or a different layout, but the idea would stay the same. Now let's get started by clicking the OneChain Wallet icon on the desktop. This would open the wallet and starts loading. After it is loaded, it would prompt you to add a password to log in. Just enter the password and you would click on the View button to see your password and check for password errors. This is not a real password, it is just to show you how it works. Next, click the Login button and it will lead you straight to your account. It shows the current token, the current price, the balance, total value, and your portfolio. Next, there is the wallet itself. When you click on it, it shows your current wallet holdings. In this case, it is only OneChain. When clicking on OneChain, it will give you some more information. On top, the currently available OneChain in your wallet. And below, it shows your created wallets. When you click on the Create button to the right, it gives you another wallet address. You can then rename the wallet for your administration or just for fun. Below that, there is transaction history. This shows the complete wallet history. When you click Select an account name, you can view its current history. It only shows the outgoing transactions and not incoming transactions. I would love to see those as well. Below wallet, there is hardware wallet. Currently in this beta wallet, only the option for ledger is available. I am missing the Treasure Connect option, but I am almost positive Treasure will be available soon. It explains to you how to connect your Ledger-based wallet. I currently cannot show you because I don't own one. Underneath there is Galaxy Pause, Proof of Stake. Here you can do a delegation or make yourself a validator. Delegation is available for a minimum stake amount of 100 won, and as you see, I have been playing with this for a while now. On top, you can see the total amount of one chain I am staking at this moment, my current reward, the average network reward, and any pending withdrawal. When I click on New Delegation, it shows a pop-up where you can select a validator from a drop-down menu. If you want more information about the validators, just click on the More Info next to the drop-down menu. It will open a web page with the current information of all active validators. Right now, we will just select one from the drop-down menu. When you have selected one, it shows its address, its quota, the maximum fee, and the fee. Underneath, there is the My Account section, where you can select your wallet address from the list. If you have created more wallet addresses, they will all be in this drop-down menu. Select your wallet that you want to stake from. It will then show the current balance. Below it, you can enter the preferred amount you want to stake. Minimum amount you can stake is 100. Click on Next, and then Send. It will then show a pending status on delegation history, and would take about a minute to change into Success. Now you will see a new entry on the delegation list. On the right side, you can also see Validator, I will skip this part because I'm not planning to set up a validator. Last option is the settings. Here you can configure the wallet security options like password confirm. This will prompt you to add your password on every transaction you make and an auto logout timer. You can disable logout or set it from five minutes till two hours. The galaxy pause option lets you hide the validator option on the left side of the screen. On top, there is a backup option and a restore option. And lastly, on the right corner, the logout button where you can log out and you can then close the wallet. This was the Beta Light Wallet Overview. Hope you learned something from it and it will not be that different from the soon to be released wallet. Thank you for watching Wanchain Guide and maybe till next time.